boys. You know. I mean, when we played Max, uh, you know, you might hear anything from the crowd, especially you remember when we went to Detroit and what was, what was the barber's name? <laughs> I mean, he, Leon. I'm sure you heard it. Yeah. Leon the barber, he would say anything. And, and I mean, this guy made coaches make substitutions the way he talked about you so bad. He talked about your mama. He talked about the coach's mama. He said the N-word. He was a black man, and he would call us the N-word. I mean, it was just ridiculous, some of the stuff that was said. People, and, and man, don't even talk about going to Europe. When I played in Italy, we got spit on. We got coins thrown at us, toilet paper. I mean... That's that's just the way the fans, you know, they get out of hand, you right, know. Absolutely. And Bob of, the only time you should be able to get out of hand is if they put their hands on you. Well, look, have we ever heard Boston fans say that? Now, Bob might be different because he was from the opposition. But have you ever been called a nigga when you were Boston? Boston on the court? No, never. Okay. Now, I've, I've okay. heard all kind of other things. I mean, Leon the Barber called us that. Yeah, yeah. You know? But uh, no, yeah, I, was I, never, I never heard the Boston. I mean, they would, you know, they would call you asshole and and stuff like that, and you know, but never, it never got. At least I never heard it. It never got racial. You well, know. Well, well, Bob, let me ask. Let me, let me ask you this then: for for someone like Kyrie to to say that, is that a bit of a low blow? Obviously, the city has a a checkered past with racial, you know, epithets and and, and racism racing through this city in one way or another, especially in sports. How do you feel about Kyrie saying that to sort of set that sort of tone heading into game three? Well, I don't know what's going through Kyrie's mind, but I, I know probably you too, Max. We, we wouldn't have said nothing. We, we just go and play and take what's out there. And hopefully it doesn't get off the chain. We, we we're not going to warn people of, you know, before you get there, you got to wait to see what happens. And then if it happens, you know, who knows at the moment what you're going to do.